Welcome back. My name is Mixonet, and this is Summer of 58. I think it's supposed to be pretty scary. We'll find out right now. Sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that the entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that could drive you crazy. I don't remember. I don't believe in the paranormal phenomena, but I believe that it troubles that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those who brought it them to this and in order for you to believe your eyes and not fictions i made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in my two houses in which according to people's stories look i couldn't read it all oh oh this is uh looks like locked up almost it is locked up isn't it you think that is locked up I remember this. I was there. I could have read all that if I could actually read. I searched all the corners, but I didn't find any evidence confirming the paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out if the rumors that the locals have been talking about for so many years are true. They say that there are ghosts of dead people in this place at the hands of one of the residents. He himself was never found. The bodies of these people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place, and those who are... I can't read that fast. Okay, oh, there it is. Those who were touched by this tragedy do not allow the doors to open in this building in memory of the dead and missing. I came to rush to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumors were true, and to find evidence. In keeping with my tradition, I close all the building doors behind me so there's no temptation to leave, and I'm staying here for a few nights recording a report. I have a video camera, a sleeping bag, a backpack, and with things and food with me. I need to explore this camp. Look, it looks nice. Oh. Huh. That's scary in the daytime. We got like a little Russian kid. We got some balls. Giggity. Yeah. Let's check it out. Hello. Who's there? Okay. <laughs> Did someone feed the cats here? I got some tuna or something. I can't read what it says. I need to get my Russian English dictionary. Where's your Russian English dictionary? Is it back there? There's an old gas mask. I hear a cat. Oh, it's a kitty. Meow. Meow, meow. Kitty? No, kitty is my pet pet. Someone's fiddling with the door. <laughs> I heard footsteps. Wow. I don't only locked myself in, but I like boarded it up. Oh, okay. What's this? Rush into English dictionary. It's so thick. That's what she said. I was translating some Russian books in college and I took them, took an Russian English dictionary with me to help with the translation. I found it at the local market. Got my video camera. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Stop it. Cat, aren't you scared? Did you hear the footsteps? In 1958, towards the end of the summer, parents called the camp to find out if everything was all right with their children, but no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one, only abandoned things in a mess. All the locals helped in the search of the missing children, but it all was in vain. How do I get the camera back up? Okay, like a flashlight. Hey, kitty. Is this the only rooms here? Seems to be getting a little darker. And there goes a ball. Hello? My god. Oh my goodness. That ball come right out of the shitter. <laughs> oh, 
I can take these loose. Break some stuff. Why not? Why the deep breath? Break that shit. Hello? Well, that's creepy. Yikes. That's a creepy little doll. What is that? Some kind of a swing? Got some notes down here. What's that? Oh, I can crooch. I'm crooched in the shitter. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp. And there lived a strange girl who was afraid of the water. She did not wash and did not go to the river. One day, the older girls decided to laugh at her. Tied her hands and poured water all over her. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days, but they decided that she was dead. But one night, she came back in her pajamas, all wet, and killed everyone who bullied her. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon. Hey, yikes. I was crouched in the shitter. Crouched in the shitter. What is that in the... You're gonna watch. What is that in there? Dead bird in the shitter. Dead bird in the shitter. Oh. I can't look at that. Okay. <laughs> Kitty, are you alright? I think you're on your own, though. Here, kitty, kitty. It'll be dark. I need to look for candles. Little Russian doll looking at me. Oh. Got a air raid siren. Oh, look at that little... Huh. That doll's moved. Oh, a bunch of candles. Control! The crooch! Nice. These candles will be useful when night falls. Thank you, cats. Apparently, there's a bombing going on. Huh? Keep hearing footsteps. And I don't like it! Huh? Need to find a lighter. Or matches. Maybe in the shitter? Nice. Thought I saw cigarettes in here. I don't like that. Lighter's almost empty. I didn't see what it said. Light these candles up. Oh no. I can light the candles now. That's Max. We're gonna burn this motherfucker down. Uh. Now I can spread out my sleeping bag. This guy's crazy. I'm all for a good time, but come on. What do I? What do I spread it out here? Where's your sleeping bag? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Duh. Ciao. Right on the floor. Done. Need to prepare for the night. Night one. Yay. I'm excited. Oh, I hear footsteps already. That's lovely. Let's go see what the footsteps are. Get my camera. Hello. I heard your footsteps. Huh. Doll moved. The doll keeps moving every time I see it. Is there? There's a photo in here. Oh, it's it's the gang. Um, check out the bathroom because that seems like a good. Oh, there's a dead bird in the floor. There weren't any dead birds in the shitter before. In the shitter. I see this photo before. Oh, it's Grandma Stupel with her saggy dog titties. Uh, that's from breastfeeding me. Uh, she was such a lovely woman. 
Uh, it's creepy. Well, yeah, a little bit. I don't think there's anything else in here I need. Hello? Hmm? I was scared and I didn't know it would end there. I trusted her, my friend Anna. I'm sorry for not being able to stop this. Alrighty. <laughs> Tap it. Tap it. Hello? Where's that coming from? Definitely in the air. Look, that doll. I thought the doll moved again. Tap it. An investigation is underway on the disappearance of the children and employees of the Yonan's Pioneer Camp, which was operated in 1955 under the leadership of Director Maria Anatol Levna. The suspect in the case is a child living at the camp. The name is Yakov. Evidence of the victims was found in his locker. What happened to him and where is his known? Where is and where he is is not known. Uh, something sounds squishy. Ooh. Hello? Fine. <laughs> Stab it. Stab that shit. <laughs> Stop doing that. Oh, now the door's closed. Great. It's locked. Ooh. I don't like the sounds. I want to go in here. It's locked. I can lock. Oh. The doll's gone. Locked. It's still locked. Hello? Oh, hey kid. We're gonna we're gonna talk about it. Ah. Blow my candles out? Oh god my Oh no. Was I murdered? Oh my god. My head Who hit me? How did I get here? Ooh, the new area. I need to find my video camera. Ooh, a pigeon! Eat shit, pigeon. I guess my book's been put back. Is that a body? Looks kind of like it. My video camera! Let me squat down here and get my book. You are not welcome here. Nice. Get my camera. The one who hit me on the head took the candles. I have to figure out what's going on here. Hello? Need to try to turn the lights on in the building. In the entire building. I can do, bud. Because I have a can-do attitude. You hiding over there in the corner? Can I break these loose? Yes, I can. Of course. Let's go. I should do them all at one time. Why are you breathing so deep just to do this? And there's definitely a dead animal in here. Holy shit! There's a handprint right there. You need to look this room. Look this room? Look at, look at this room. An old locket or something. I don't like that I can hear her. Can I, can I get this paper? Oh. I got a box. I'll take the box with me if something goes wrong at night. I'll, I'll use the bulbs for lighting. Okay. Do 
you to take this box to the sleeping bag. Okay, let's take the box to the sleeping bag. <laughs> Lady? Hello? Where did I put this at? Put it there. Put her there! I bet I know where this goes. I saw it in here. Turn the power on. Is this where I turn the power on? No? What the hell? Oh, wait. There's a fuse box. <laughs> Duh. Turn on the light. Maybe that's what that thing in there does. It turns the light on. Lights on. Oh. Lovely. Shut that shit off. Off. I don't like it. I need to go to bed. It'll be dark soon. Okay. Sleep. Or don't sleep. I think I'll sleep. I sleep in the nude though, so... Night two. You better watch it. I do sleep in the nude. You don't want to see my shawakadong. Let's go. The clock stopped at 3.07 a.m. Where's my camera? Do I have my stupid little book? Yes, I do. Yeah. Hello? Oh. Uh. Hello? Turn that shit off. Nobody wants to hear it. Uh. Stop. Stop it right now. Oh my god. Ma'am? What are you doing? I don't... I don't want to walk over there, but I will. Are you okay? That was, uh... Quite bassy. I wasn't ready for it. That was a lot of bass. Shitter! No fun in the shitter. Let's check the other room here. Hello? Oh! All right, we'll just close this back. You have a good night. <laughs> Did you go back in the vent? Nice. Creepy. This box wasn't here before. It's locked. It would be interesting to know what's inside. Smash that motherfucker. Take that dead bird. Just slap it on it. <laughs> I need to... I hear breathing. Hello? Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. There were spare bulbs in the box. I know. Get a new bulb. Bulbasaur! Shut up. Not listening. Oh, that's the bulb that bust. Oh. What? Who's pissing to my left? You can't pee in the floor, lady. Okay. Oh, it's the shitter. Hello? That's creepy. Cut that shit off. Oh no. What is this, this box?
and I know there's blood dripping from something and this shit I, I'm gonna look up and it's gonna be scary ah! I knew something was gonna happen and it's still I was not prepared Can I help you? I like your hat. Wanna hang out, maybe? How'd you make it so dark over there? <laughs> oh my god! Why? Why you gotta be so scary? Oh god. <sighs> my heart's gonna explode. Check out this room. Hello. <laughs> I'll see you later then. Hey, how are you? Uh, were you pooping? I I'm not. I'm confused. Uh, is it occupied? I don't know what you were looking at, but there's nothing out there. Hell yeah. This guy's nuts. Why would you stay in this place? Door still locked. Ah! No. <laughs> Stop it. Stop all that noise. Hello? There's a key in here! Huh. Wall. Uh -huh. Ooh. Uh. Oh my god. With this key, I can open the box. From 1950, a loud scandal in the orphanage. For orphanage. The nurse cruelly mocked the residents. One of the employees reported violation of authority. A decision is made to close the institution. We remind you that the shelter was open since 1944. Children who were left without parents during the war lived there. Can I take this wall? Go open the box. Giggity. Box time! Oh, it's in. Dear diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. I have been preparing for this for three years so that this summer will be special for me. During these days, I will bring up real people in them, but they will also help me a lot. Night of 58. Oh, we're back in time. What is that? After severe thunderstorm, there's no light in the building. Okay, so I'm the teacher. Apparently the floor, this lead paint really is worn off quickly. Oh, there's me. The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself no matter what it takes. How? Are you a scientist? Why is this the, the walls and all still look crappy? If it's 1958. Hello? Children and, and caregivers that are asleep, I won't bother them. What about that fucking noise we just heard? Apparently they're not asleep, they're in there singing and dancing and what have you. Ooh, I'm gonna weigh myself. I don't weigh anything. That desk always. Oh, a bird broke in. Damn ravens. I'm gonna call this desk being open. Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hid her key in the closet. We can make it help me. What an asshole. I don't like that. 
Oh, the music box. How lovely. Oh, it's a key. I see, I, I see the key. I just can't get it. The key to the safe. Huh. You filthy child! Yokov Patterson stole the second gas cylinder. I need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then returned back. The filter is missing and the glass is broken. We worked together with Alexei Serkovich in the orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended for medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake because only he knows our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys. And Alexei, Alexei Serkovich, I'm ruining these names, will help to perform the heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical record, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up on an accident, and no one will be looking for him. A special boy, Yakov, came into the camp. He has no parents or relatives, and he became my favorite because he's so similar to my son, Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy. Although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. The day has come. Yokov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. Okay. So, apparently, to save my son, he needs a heart transplant. I'm helping a doctor get steel kidneys from these children. <sighs> Hello? Need to put the gas cylinder under the door and go back to our classroom. There you go. Breathe that in. It's pretty good. It's not quite as good as propane, but... What the... Oh, no! Damn, kids! Sir? Sir? A gas mask too? <laughs> Rude. That's what that is. <sighs> I need that. Maria's diary. How am I gonna read that if I can't have my my book? You were told, crossed out, to get out of here. Leave this place alone. Someone in there? There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me, who are you? Take my letter. We're passing notes. Oh. Hello? Who's calling at this time of day? I see you right there. You didn't think I saw you, but I see you. Hey. Stop that. That's broken. Okay, I'm coming back. Ah, oh my god! Should try writing this letter again. Yeah, sure. Why not? Suddenly, I know Russian. I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me, and then I can help you.
Now what? I go back this way? In the shitter? Oh, nothing in the shitter. Answer my notes, dang it. Oh, a note for me! Who knew? I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here! Hey kid, I heard you. I heard you. Where'd you go? You little bastard. I see you. I see you. Hey, get out of here. It's creepy. Let me end. I need to write another note. Guess so. I hear a kitty cat. Take it. Your name, Yakov. Have you been living here alone for many years? Stop it. Stop it. I'm passing notes. Like we're in kindergarten. Take the note, Yakov. Thank you. I see all those noises and the shit of. Oh. Settle down with all that racket. It's uncalled for. All right. I need a note back. Where's the kitty cat? Yes, here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it's our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things, but my friends helped me drive them away. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here and those people will come for me. Oh, there's a the little doll. That's great. Who are your friends? Where are they? Why are they here too? Yeah, some notes back and forth. Stop running around so much. It's scary. Where I heard a kitty cat. The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remained locked up here. That day in the evening after the lights went out, someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that's because of hey, this. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. The guy in the suit. <laughs> who goes there? Hold on, I gotta write a note before I go see who that was. <laughs> oh, this was planned by the director of the camp. What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? Whoever's outside, that's who. What are you doing out there? Stay out of my garden, you bastard. All right. Can I help you? Can I, let me pass this note first. Now, what do you want? Thank you. Oh, they're gone now. That's right. Stay out of here. Now it isn't big enough for the both of us. Oh, he ain't quite the note, the note writer. It's all her. I saw our director talking to someone at the old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and I hid. In the morning... In the morning, I went into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in that building. I had to stay here, and I live in the ventilation. Only sometimes go to the rooms. 
That's creepy. What do you eat for food, kid? That's what I want to know. You don't see any beanie weenies laying around. Uh. That building abandoned? Can I get there? So, 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 so many noises in there. Are you riding a rocking horse in there? It's so loud. Yakov does not answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. Need to tear the boards off the front door. All right, let's go. Why I'd want to go to an abandoned hospital? Who knows? Should I take my sleeping bag? Feck no. That's for squares. It's lighting. Night three. I'm not scared of no ghosts. Oh. Hospital. Achievement unlocked. Got that. Jakob said I could find proof here. Let's take a look around. Huh. I didn't. Why? Why would I do that? Hey, I guess I don't want the light on. Where does that go? I just came here. I need to find proof. Okay, that's the door to leave. Oh, you don't want to lock yourself in the abandoned hospital? Let's try this door first. That's locked and chained. What happened? Oh. Oh. There's so many uncomfortable noises and I hate it. Ah. <laughs> oh. Man. Wait a second. What happened here? 1946, after the war, dozens of children ended up in shelters after losing their parents. An orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans worked under the leadership of the military. Uh... Ah! Just want to leave now. I should have went out when I had the chance. Can I push this? Oh. Oh. I don't like it at all. I don't like this one bit. Oh, that's creepy. That is creepy. doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnosis and performed operations to remove the kidney. The director did not know about this, but he could not continue to lead his position. The orphanage was closed. The building became abandoned. The store leads to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with me in my backpack. I can cut all these chains if and find where the evidence is. Oh, now you have a magical angle grinder. You didn't have it before. <laughs> Yeah, was that a naked man? I'm not even sure. Uh, don't be act friend. Oh, the front door is gone. This place won't let me go. I have to finish what I started. I'm good for you, stupid. Oh. I'll hit you with my angle grinder. Don't mess with me. Cut it. Oh, it's loud. Knock, knock. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son, Ivan. I was lucky. Alexei agreed to help. I mustn't let him down. No one should know our family, about our affairs. Jesus. Where's the... Where's the proof? Okay, I'll, come on out. Let me cut it open for him. <laughs> Oh, that's loud.
<laughs> Hello? I don't like that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my vajecky. I'll save him. I need to find another donor urgently. Ooh, bolt cutters. Taking those. A little quieter than the grinder, that's for sure. Oh, that closed behind me. Nice. Hello? What's that sound? Hello? Stop all that racket. Why didn't you just use the bolt cutters? It's quieter. what I would have done. And the angle battery is run dry. Whew. Creepy. Oh shit, the bed. Oh my god. That's piss stains everywhere. Let's stop with that sounds. I don't know if I'll make it to the morning because today's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman. More like her silhouette or a shadow. She went into the closet. I'm afraid to follow her, and I moved to the closet. I don't want to check and see if it's true, or maybe it's just my imagination, which was sharpened after a glass of vodka. On the cabinet weighs some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I have never seen them here Never seen them anywhere. They look terrible and smells of dead things from there. Okay, I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. Nothing in here, really. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Open the door. I'm almost pooped a little bit. You have no idea. Oh, all this way for nothing. That door closed behind me. I'm sure it's locked. Oh, it's locked with a ch Oh, that's open. It was a chain from the other side. Hey, kid. <sighs> so many little jump scares. Oh, my... Oh, my God. It's a... Oh my god! Oh, that little Russian doll makes me feel better. <laughs> oh, newspaper. After a year later, after the events of 1950, the building was reclassified as a hospital with the budget cuts. It stopped working again. Oh, the hall is extended. Dream catcher. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh. That's some Blair Witch Project shit right here. I see it. What's hiding behind here? Oh no. There's so many babies in here. Hello? What did you do? Oh. How had her body not decomposed after all these years? Good question. Huh? Oh, no. 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 I'm going to read this note. Please don't hurt me. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who has lost her child. I curse anyone who couldn't help me. And I'm not just going to leave. I'll be back. I don't want to turn. She's gone. What are all you kids doing in this shitter? I got a, a knife. I'm just stepping all over these little kids. It's terrible. 
death certificate. Here are the documents from 1958. Alexei, about whom Maria spoke, replied to her that he would no longer participate in this and refused to work with her. Then what was the case in question? And who was she take, talking to when Yavik, Yakov saw her? There's something else. Death certificate document. This is her son, Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently, she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. Poor woman. Oh, need to get out of here as soon as possible. No sh... Oh, hey, how you doing? Bye. Ah! Well, those two has it locked. Can we break out the window? That would be lovely. Okay, guess not. Guess I'm not getting out of nowhere. Oh, sweet. It opened up for us. We can go now. I'm leaving. I'm not stopping for nothing. You have a lovely day. Wow. Three weeks later. I actually let, got it out? That's crazy. I didn't die. Why would you come back three weeks later? There's nothing here that you need to look for. Doll? Shitta? What am I doing here? Yakov? Are you in there? Hello, Yakov. You no longer need to be afraid and you will be not... that you will be found and accused of something that you did not do. I've taken care of everything. I didn't tell anyone that you live here with your friends. Protect this place further. Now it is rightfully only your home. Your friend, Alex Morton. I'm glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help Yucca find peace and freedom. You can read about this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to find another place with a terrible history where witches used to live. And there we'll have an unusual case. I will tell you about it later. It must be what the next game is going to be about. A few days later. What happened a few days later? What happened now? Oh, it's inside the house from day to day. Achievement from day to day. Well, I played the demo from day to day, so. Oh. Got some chains here. There's my camera. Battery's dead. I had to wait for the person who bought this house, but after his arrival a few days later, something went wrong. This place ceased to be harmless. I'm trapped here. I don't think that a woman from a shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. Does this house have a pendulum for people like her? What if her spirits, what if other spirits followed me? Maybe that's why I didn't find anyone in the houses. I miraculously managed to escape from the abandoned orphanage, but I am not sure that I will be released now. We need to try and get out and warn that guy that it's dangerous to stay here. Oh, what guy? Oh, the one that's from in the from day to day uh game demo. After you watch this video, go watch from day to day demo I played a while back. It was that's what this is connecting to. So it's gonna run right into the next game's gonna be from day to day, I guess. Let's go upstairs. I feel like I'm lower than I was. Got a dream catch. Nice. I can't open it. Oh. Yikes. Hello? Ma'am? Oh. Oh. No. Where'd you go, bitch? Oh. Can I leave now? Oh no, she's behind me, I know it. No, she wants me to come to bed with her. <laughs> to be continued. That's dope. Well, that was Summer 58. If you enjoyed the video, why don't you go down and hit that like button? 
and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And also hit the notification bell. That way you're notified whenever I upload a video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Ah. <sighs>